Hi everyone, my name is Cheryl and today I'm going to read you the story of the three little pigs. Afterwards, I'm going to show you how to do the three little pig steam challenge. The Three Little Pigs by Paul Galdon. The publisher is Houghton Mifflin Harcourt. Once upon a time, there was an old sow with three little pigs. She had no money to keep them, so she sent them off to seek their fortune. The first little pig met a man with a bundle of straw and said to him, Please, man, give me that straw to build me a house. So the man did, and the little pig built his house with it. Along came a wolf. He knocked at the door, knock, 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 and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, said the little pig. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. So the wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew the house in. The second little pig met a man with a bundle of sticks and said, Please, man, give me those sticks to build me a house. So the man did, and the little pig built his house with them. Then along came the wolf and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. So he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed and at last he blew the house in. The third little pig met a man with a load of bricks and said, please man, give me those bricks to build me a house. So the man did and the little pig built his house with them. Soon the same wolf came along and said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. Well, he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed, but he could not blow the house in. At last the wolf stopped huffing and puffing and said, little pig, I know where there is a nice field of turnips. Where, said the little pig? On Mr. Smith's farm, said the wolf. I will come for you tomorrow morning. We will get together and get some turnips for dinner. Very well, said the little pig. What time will you come? Oh, at six o'clock, said the wolf. Well, the little pig got up at five. He went to Mr. Smith's farm and got the turnips before the wolf came to his house. Little pig, are you ready? asked the wolf. The little pig said, ready. I have been and come back again, and I got a nice pot full of turnips for my dinner. The wolf was very angry, but then he thought of another way to get the little pig. So he said, little pig, I know where there is a nice apple tree. Where, said the pig. Down at Merry Garden, replied the wolf. I will come for you at five o'clock tomorrow morning, and we will get some apples. Well, the little pig got up the next morning at four o'clock and went off for the apples. He wanted to get back before the wolf came, but it was a long way to Merry Garden, and then he had to climb the tree. Just as he was climbing back down with his basket full of apples, he saw the wolf coming. Little pig, the wolf said, you got here before me. Are the apples nice? Yes, very, said the little pig. I will throw one down to you. And he threw the apple as far as he could throw. When the wolf ran to pick it up, the little pig jumped down and ran home. The next day, the wolf came again and said to the little pig, Little pig, there is a fair at Shanklin this afternoon. Would you like to go? Oh, yes, said the little pig. When will you come to get me? At three, said the wolf. Well, the little pig went off at two o'clock and bought a butter churn at the fair. He was going home with it when he saw the wolf coming. The little pig jumped into the butter churn to hide. The churn fell over and rolled down the hill with the little pig in it. This frightened the wolf so much that he turned around and ran home. 
Later, the wolf went to the little pig's house and told him what had happened. A great round thing came rolling down the hill right at me, the wolf said. Ha! <laughs> I frightened you then, said the little pig. I went to the fair and bought a butter churn. When I saw you, I got into it and rolled down the hill. The wolf was very angry indeed. I am going to climb down your chimney, he said. When the little pig heard the wolf on the roof, he hung a pot full of water in the fireplace. Then he built a blazing fire. Just as the wolf was coming down the chimney, the little pig took the cover off the pot and in fell the wolf. And the pig lived happily ever after. Now I'm gonna to talk to you about the Three Little Pigs Steam Challenge. I built three houses for the three little pigs. The first house I made out of straw. I glued down the straw onto the first house and then I glued the pig inside the first house. The second house I made out of popsicle sticks. I colored the roof of the house brown. Then I glued down the popsicle sticks. Then I glued the second pig inside the second house. The third house is made out of bricks. The roof of the house I colored gray. And then I glued the pig inside the brick house. If you'd like to sign up to do the STEAM challenge, all you need to do is go to our website. Our website address is www.linnahurstlibrary.org. You can use the materials that we supply for you, and you can also use materials that you have at home to complete your project. We would love to see your pictures of your completed projects. You can send them to summer at linnahurstlibrary.org. You can also build houses out of Legos or blocks if you'd like to. Bye, everybody.